Thank you for attending. Um, Alexis Fodel will present you how to improve your app's uh, metrics in Wix. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So um, this is the last presentation before lunch. Uh, I'm going to try not to be too boring for you. Uh, spoiler alert, the, there is no code in that presentation. I think that's one of the few. Uh, we are going to talk about data, we are going to talk about metrics and uh, how to improve them. So to start with, uh, I would like to say some things that I hate data. Uh, data sucks, it's what is usually transforming your expectations uh, into reality. Uh, you know that uh, a data analyst been awarded the hottest just in 2015. Uh, well, actually, I don't think it's true because Data, again, is the cold, true reality. There is nothing hard about that. And when it comes to your app, uh, here is the reality. Let's say you've got 1,000 people coming uh, to the Play Store on, on, on your app page. So usually it's not easy to get these 1,000 people. Well, first of all, you develop the app, and then you try to do some, you know, uh, uh, maybe paid advertising or maybe... Uh, having some press coverage, maybe you write feature on product and, and ask your friend privately to about you. You get get people there, and uh, the sad reality is that uh, actually most of them, 85% of them, are not going to uh, even download your app. And it's not getting getting better. Uh, if you look at it, after that you've got actually again. Uh, 70% of them, 30% uh, of them that are not going to do anything with your app. Actually, some of them are not even going to open your app, which is staggering. It's like you have app collections. They like downloading stuff, but they, they don't open it. It's like, it's the equivalent on Tinder when you have someone that is, you have a match, but the person never talked to you, you don't know why. And uh, then you've got some people that are going to try your app for a couple of minutes, uh, five minutes maybe, and you are going to lose 50% of them again. Uh, go back to the Tinder equivalent here, at least you have the opportunity to talk a little bit and try to convince the other person that you are not a jerk. Uh, but, I mean, see, you are losing 95% uh, uh, of the people that were coming. So, as I said, it, it sucks a bit. And, uh, Actually, I've got a bad and a good news for you. Uh, the bad news is uh, I've talked with many app developers and you really look like that. So uh, you're not going to have something totally different. But the good news is that you can update it and you can improve it a little bit and even a little bit has a significant impact on your business. So it is actually uh, worth it to, 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 to work on, on, on these figures. And we're going to see how to work on them. There are two, two ways to, to, to work on these figures. One is to improve your app, and especially the onboarding, saying, okay, how can I convince people that my app is worth it once they have downloaded it? It's not easy to do because um, first you have to figure out what is, going, what, what is wrong with your app. You have to figure out uh, with user testing, with data analytics, uh, uh, what is not working. And once you've figured that out, you have to implement uh, the changes. You have to uh, do new product improvement, uh, have some design, have some uh, code uh, build, and you have to reship an app, which uh, uh, might come with bugs, which is long, a long process. So, I mean, you can still decide to do it, and I mean, let's say you are successful and you change that 50% uh, to 40%, then you, you have 60 per, 63 people at the end, which is still uh, a, a big drop from the beginning. So that's good, but it is uh, costing you uh, a, a lot of time. And at the end of the day, uh, it's not changing that much. Now, what you can do all, uh, also is to try go on the first part and say, okay, how can I have more people downloading my app right from the Play Store? And uh, so you can have impact, of course, on people that, that are seeing your, uh, your, your page and then the people that actually open your app when, once they have uh, downloaded it. And uh, I mean, 
this is pretty cool because if you if you are successful here and let's say uh, you, you you are improving the, at the same level so by 10 percent here you're gonna have uh, improvements everywhere in the funnel because you have impact at the beginning uh, and it's even better after that when you want to test things in your app because you've got more people that are coming through so See, that's a bit better. You have, uh, you, I mean, that's still not great, but it is better. So it is, it is worth the, 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 the investment. And what I want to show you today is uh, how you can use the Google Play experiments uh, to improve this. So, I mean, you're all familiar with the, with the Play Store. Um, this is pretty flexible uh, tool. This is actually a great tool. You can update things without having to reship your app which you might or might not know is not the case for all app stores uh, out there, so we should be grateful for that. And uh, actually, uh, Google released something uh, pretty new recently, which is the ability to do A-B testing directly on the Play Store. And the good news about it is that you can actually do it for free. Um, I mean, let's say it's including the 30% that they take when you do in-app purchases, but uh, you don't have to pay anything up front. So it's pretty, pretty, cool, uh, pretty cool to do. And you don't need to uh, spend time uh, adding new features. You don't need to spend time uh, analyzing things. Everything is done by the, the, the Play Store, and it's pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to, to show you how to make the most of it. Uh, before we begin, maybe uh, two small things. Uh, one, uh, I assume that you are all more or less aware about what A-B testing, a -B testing is. Uh, might maybe do a small recap. Basically, A-B testing is when you have a page, uh, you can do one version, another version, and you put uh, a certain percentage of uh, your visitors going on one page, the other percentage going on the other page, and you see what performs better depending on what you want uh, the user to do. So let's say here you want people to download your app, you are going to see which page uh, is converting better. And this is pretty important to do A-B testing and not to just change things because uh, you could say, okay, my page looks like that. I'm going to update, I don't know, I'm going to update my icon and see if I've got uh, more people that are, are downloading my app. But, okay, let's say you run that experiment and at the same time, look at you, you've got press coverage and you've got a lot more people that are coming to your Play Store page. And um, these people, they come with a higher intent because they have read something about your app, so they are going to download your app more easily than other people. And so, if you just look at the result, you might say, oh, I've got more download with my new icon. But actually, maybe not. Maybe it's just because you've got that press coverage. So, A-B testing is getting rid of that because, again, data sucks and it's lying all the time. If you want to avoid uh, data lying to you, you do A-B testing and you can say, okay, I've got these new people that are coming and out of these new people, what is performing better between my old icon and my new icon. Okay, so that was one thing. Uh, well, second thing, uh, I'm going to take examples of things that we have tested with Dashend. So, um, just the one minute speech about what we do. Uh, at Dashend, we make identity and payment simple and secure everywhere. We are a cross platform application, a password manager, and digital wallet. We are on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android. It's basically you put data uh, in the apps, they are secure locally, sync across devices, and uh, sharing the cake. Every time you are uh, somewhere, you don't have to type this data anymore. Uh, the application is going to do it for you automatically. So if you're on the web, you don't have to remember your password, it can be logged in automatically. If you are buying something, uh, you can uh, uh, use the, 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 the tool to um, fill, fill in your credit card number without having to go and look in your, in your wallet, so um, it's pretty great, you should try it, I encourage you to try it. But uh, back to, to the presentation, so here are the things that you can change uh, on, the, uh, on the Play Store page. Uh, you can change your icon, you can change the feature graphic, the screenshots that you have, you can add a video, and you can change the descriptions, the, the short and, and, and the full description. So again, pretty flexible, you can change pretty much everything except the, the comments that's uh, in the ratings that's uh, not, uh, you cannot do anything about it except improving your app. So 
Uh, first example I want to show you is, uh, is the icon. This is something that we tested uh, uh, at the time where we just uh, 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 redesigned our app. So we had a new app uh, uh, that was materialized uh, in terms of design. So we're like, okay, maybe we should update our icon and let's do it in a A-B testing fashion just to see what impacts it had. And at the same time, we're like, okay, let's try also a new icon uh, that is describing something else just to see how it works. So we have our, our former and new wallet icon this is a wallet. Maybe you don't see it, but this is a wallet. And uh, um, you have a shield icon, because hey, you know, we are password manager, maybe let's build some trust, and we'll see what, what people uh, think about. And so we run it uh, in a way that is, you've got uh, a certain amount of people that are coming to the old one. I think 50% are, are going to, 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 to the old uh, uh, icon, and then 25%, 25%. And what do you think? Who out for, 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 for the shield? Let, let, let me know. All right, I think we have a bit more than 50%. Who about for, for, for this one? Okay, so you do like the shield, it's cool because this is the one we kept at the end. But <laughs> uh, actually we had the, the, the same results. And that was, uh, that was pre pre pretty interesting that actually what was making the difference is that we had uh, an icon that was consistent uh, with the design of our app that was updated compared to, to the former one. Now, one thing that is really important about this and everything that I'm going to tell you today, uh, don't do that with your app. Don't, 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 don't take what I say for granted. This, is working, this has worked for us, but it might not work for you. Or maybe it's gonna work better for you. Actually, Google uh, released an example where someone was changing uh, their, their, their icon and they got a 30% uh, uh, upside in terms of download, which might not totally be true, or we don't know, but at least uh, uh, you can say that maybe you can have between 3.8 and 30%, which is cool, but you know, your app is your app, uh, your users are different than our users, and what is working for us might not work for you, and again, what is not working for us may work for you. That's very, really important. But here, here, this is what we got with the icon, and it is worth it, and I, I don't think we'll stop here. Um, this, is, this was the first test that we did with the icon, but updating your icon uh, is design work, and we can, I, I mean, as soon as we have a, a bit of resources on that front, we'll probably uh, do, do another test. Uh, second test that we did, we tried uh, uh, changing the screenshots. So on the left, we had the uh, old uh, screenshots, and on the, on, on the right, new one. We wanted to have something uh, uh, a, little me, a little bit f funnier, having the phone, having a, a colored background, and also having some stickers like, hey, we are in AS256, that's great, it means security, and we've got a series like, the, that's the passwords. And uh, so we, we launched that. Uh, it's pretty painful to change the screenshots because, uh, uh, as you know, on Android, you've got plenty of devices, so you've got to make screenshots for everything. So here we did a, a little test uh, trying to change only so, so, some screenshots. And what we got was minus 3%, which, it's not good. I mean, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer this one? Because I do. I, I was actually pretty disappointed about that. I, I was like, hey, well, we'll do something that, that looks better and it converts less. So why is that? Uh, actually, I don't know. And uh, the reason I don't know is that that is, is not good. And that's actually the reason I wanted to show it to you is because uh, 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 we made a, a big mistake when doing this test. What we did here is we changed the design, so we added that background, we added the phone, but at the same time, we also added some kind of element, AS 256 and this. And right now, I'm not able to tell you what is working, what is not working. Maybe if I put the AS 256 on this screen, it's gonna have a good impact. And maybe if I just update that design, but I don't put any stickers, maybe it's gonna have a good impact. And maybe that's the combination of the two that is not working, or maybe it's just one of them. There's no way to tell. So there's a good lesson here, is that when you do this kind of tests, uh, don't be impatient. Do them one by one. Change one thing so you can really read the results. Again, data sucks, and if it can lie, it will lie. So try to, you limit the test that you do all to only one thing. And 
at this moment uh, of, of the presentation, I would love to tell you, and we did the test, uh, and here's the result, but we are actually currently running this test, so I don't have the result, and I still don't know. Uh, right now, we are running the test with uh, these screens and uh, just the sticker to see, to see if it works. Okay, um, another example, uh, if it works. Well, we don't have sound, but that's a, video, a small video that we did with our app. It's just a presentation video uh, that we did when we, when we redesigned the app. All right, so um, again, that video we did it when we just redesigned the app. We were like, hey, we spent some time redesigning the app. Let's make a cool video to let the world know about it. And at the same time, we wanted to know whether it would perform better or not. There's something funny with videos. Um, it's actually, you can read online everywhere. Uh, there are two comes. Some people are saying, hey, I've added a video to my website. I've added a video to my Play Store page. You had great impact. And the other side is like, doesn't change, uh, it doesn't move the needle, doesn't have any impact. So we did that video, uh, well actually to be honest, we did that video because we wanted to and wanted to have something cool. And if you want to test the vi uh, a video, I would advise to do it differently. I would advise to first do something very simple. You take a, screen, uh, a screencast of your app, maybe a little bit of text to explain what it is, and you experiment on that. You, you change, you show one part of your app, another part of your app, because you don't know what, what is really gonna work here. And once you have something that you know is working, then you can try to work uh, uh, with, with someone to improve the design of your, the video if you want to spend, spend the money. So anyway, we did that. Uh, and uh, the test that we did, we did the, uh, what our image, we added the video, and we did also with a new image uh, that we were thinking uh, was better in terms of uh, uh, design. Um, so, well, did you like the video? Do you think it's gonna <laughs> help us getting more downloads? Well, it did. <laughs> it did, plus 4%, which is pretty good, actually. I mean, 4% is making a difference in terms of, of, of downloads. And the, the new image uh, didn't. I mean, was performing uh, not that good compared to the old image. Now, what if you have a video and it doesn't make a, a, a difference? What if it was 0%, 0%? My personal advice, but it's just me, is that I think you should keep the video because uh, once someone has seen a video, you can consider it as a higher quality users. They are more informed. So uh, what I think is that they, they might be uh, uh, more informed when they come to your app and they might be, uh, 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 they can have a higher retention. And Unfortunately, this is something that you, you cannot uh, measure right now with the experiment tool. Uh, that, uh, I don't know if there is any Google folks here, but that's something that would be great to add. It's uh, basically there is no way for you to follow the user directly into your app to know uh, if uh, uh, somebody that has seen the video is more active after than someone that has not seen the video. Maybe they will add this, uh, uh, that would be great, but for now the only thing that you know is the, whether they, they done them more or not. All right, la, one, one last that, uh, uh, that we did. So, currently we have uh, a description that depicts Dashlane as it is really the world best password manager and secure wallet. This is exactly what we are, the world best password manager and secure wallet. Um, and, but, you know, I read somewhere uh, online that it was not a good practice to say that you were the world best and the best app uh, in your tagline. It was better to describe exactly what, uh, uh, what, what you were doing, um, even though it's true that we are the best. <laughs> I've said that enough time. <laughs> Is it okay? Uh, so we, 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 
we did that test, uh, and uh, um, actually it's uh, pretty interesting, and uh, uh, it's linked to my former point. Uh, we got a minus six percent with that new uh, uh, with that new message. So two things that are important. One is uh, this is a huge difference. This is a huge difference in terms uh, of uh, saying that changing one text has a such a huge difference. It means that. You know, it's not a lot of work to change that, that text. So maybe the text uh, uh, you are using to describe your app is wrong. Maybe just by changing that, that sentence, you can get plus 6%. And there is no way you can know. Uh, you are not the best to describe your app. You are biased. You know uh, your product. And you might not know exactly what people are looking for. So try to be really candid when you, when you, when you do this. And brainstorm and do as much as you can. The cool thing about the Play Store experiment is that you can run them all the time independently of what you release or not. And so it's pretty easy to, uh, 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 it's pretty easy to do. Second interesting thing, and it's what I said before, is we did that test because we read somewhere that it was better to describe uh, the app. But, well, actually, maybe for some people it is better. For us, it's not. It's clearly not. I mean, minus six percent. It's a it's a it's a, it's a high uh, a high downgrade. So that's uh, uh, that's what I wanted to say about Play Store experiments. Uh, and something else is I don't know uh, um, if you guys are are doing a lot of experiments with your app. Is that, can, can you raise your app if you are doing uh, uh, experiments with your app? Not not on the Play Store, but even A/B testing, trying to improve. So we've got a co co couple of you are, are, are doing this, but uh, not the majority. And no matter if you are working in a company or if you are working uh, on your own app, uh, the good thing about this is that it's a great way to start. It's a great way to start because you don't need to invest a lot. So if you want to convince someone that you should try optimizing, and I, again, I really think you should, uh, you can start with the Play Store experiment. You just change something. Maybe you don't tell anyone. You just change something on the Play Store, maybe a test, and you just see if there is a result, and you should, and if you've got good results. Uh, if you've got minus 6%, you just keep it for yourself, and you try something else. Uh, but it's a good way uh, to start. And again, once you've done that, you have more people getting in the funnel and getting into your app, and so you can start doing the second one because now uh, people know that it's important and so they are going to uh, uh, let you test things with your app. And what I want to show you now is, uh, again, it's based on tests that we did. Uh, um, it's the difference between the kind of tests that you do, uh, you can do on the Play Store and what you can do in your app. Uh, you can decide to do the same kind of tests uh, about text, about uh, 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 images and things like that, but you can do different tests. And I'm going to show you one test that really worked for us. So uh, as I told you, Dashlane is a cross-platform application. Uh, and if we want to show the value of the application to users, the best is when they uh, download the, the app on multiple devices. And when people comes to Android, come to Android, we're like, OK, that would be great if they could download the desktop app. Because with the desktop app, we are able to import passwords directly from their uh, browser. So we can show them uh, a good experience right at the beginning. And before, what we used to do is to tell people uh, during the onboarding, you should download Dashlane on your desktop. And we had a, 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 a small button saying, hey, send me a reminder. Um, we started to do tests on this uh, A-B test where we changed uh, the text. And we changed the text uh, uh, to, hey, we can find passwords uh, in, in your browser and things like that. And it didn't have that much impact because, you know, like a pop-up is a pop-up. And at any rate, you don't read the text. So <laughs> it didn't really have any impact. And what we decided uh, then, and this is one of the examples, but we have done other tests like that, is to do something more disruptive. We're like, OK, well, if we really want to have a significant impact, let's try to do something that is really changing the experience of our app. And so what we did is during the onboarding now, uh, we have like a full screen page that is telling you we can find password for you. And then rather than having a CTA that is uh, 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 send me a reminder or something, we've got a button that is uh, uh, helping you doing it right now. And we don't let you doing, uh, do anything else. We give you a code, 
uh, that you can enter directly on your desktop. And we start playing with an experience when you are you know, going from one, from the phone to the desktop, the desktop to the phone. You enter the code, it says, oh, great, it's great. Uh, it, it, you can continue. Then you arrive, uh, the, uh, the, the phone is telling you to install the app. The app starts to da download. And when you arrive, your email is already pre-filled. Uh, we've got some uh, uh, security checks that are already done that you don't have to do manually. So overall, it's a really fluid experience, but most, uh, m most of it, it's uh, something that was totally changing the way people were experiencing the app. And again, if you read uh, you, uh, uh, the literature on the, uh, on the web, usually you will, people will tell you, uh, don't slow down your users. They need to see the value right away. They need to enter your app. Uh, don't do any onboarding, things like that. Uh, well, in our case, what we did here is we made uh, the onboarding a lot longer. We made the uh, first experience a lot longer before people could experience what the app does. And it had actually a, tre a tremendous impact. Uh, the multi-device conversion went up uh, on 59%, and the week to retention, 99%. And this is this is game changer when it comes to your app. Having 99% uh, 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 more people that are uh, active after two weeks. So again, it was a, re a, a, a pretty big investment because doing everything that uh, I, I just showed you was work on the server, on the design, uh, on the Android developer, on the desktop for the reception of these users. So it was a pretty significant amount of work. But at the same time, uh, this, wa this was what wa worked at the end. So what I would advise you to do is test everything regarding the copy on the Play Store page. It's something that is easy. You can change it easily. You don't have to re-update your app and everything. And when you want to change the experience, when you want to do something significant, you can do it in your app and you, you can try to have more impact here. All right. Um, did I mention that data sex? Uh, there is one thing. Uh, that is pretty important when you are uh, thinking about metrics is that uh, it's not your only goal. There are other things that are important uh, for you have that short-term metrics. I'm saying short-term metrics because at the end of the day, whatever you do, there's a way to measure the success with metrics. So uh, you cannot say that metrics is not a goal, but uh, short-term metrics and having the good metrics is really important. Uh, I want to give you two examples of things that we did uh, in our app and uh, uh, for which uh, metrics were not the, the, the right way to measure. So first thing is we added a new feature. Uh, we added a, a feature that was allowing you to share passwords with uh, other people. And uh, basically, I share a password with two people. If these people update the password, it's going to be updated automatically for me. Uh, if I revoke uh, the access to one person and update the password, it's not going to be updated for him. So it's great for security. It's great for convenience. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool feature. We were uh, pretty happy about it. And it was pretty long to develop because, uh, as you can imagine, there is a whole encryption that is uh, uh, happening back and forth. Second one that we did at the same time was uh, something called emergency, uh, meaning, okay, what happens uh, if I'm unavailable and I cannot access my data, like if I died, for instance? Well, uh, I want to be able to select people that could access my data uh, in that case. So I know that uh, uh, if I die, my father can access my data. It's not a funny story, but it happens. So uh, we, 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 we did that feature. And um, this w it was a great feature. When we did it, we were like, okay, we're, we're going to have uh, uh, some activity and everything. And uh, I'm going to show you the result that's, that's, that's easy to read. That's pretty easy to read. That was before, that is after. We got absolutely no impact in terms of metrics. And, um, you know, when you do something, you, you, you spend a lot of time, and it's actually the whole thing, spending a lot of time working on something, and it has no impact. It's Pretty, pretty bad for the morale of the team. <laughs> but uh, something else happened. Uh, we started having uh, people contacting us uh, because they wanted to use Dashlane not for themselves but for their company. 
because we actually noticed, that, I mean, we actually discovered that it's, this is something, when, when we did it, we were like, okay, people can share password, that's great, they are going to use the app more, but actually people that are using that uh, the most are people that are working uh, in, in companies that have to share passwords with colleagues. And uh, uh, thanks to that, we launched uh, our, team, uh, uh, our team plan uh, and we launched a real uh, of a new offer, a B2B offer with, with our, uh, um, uh, we, we, that is based, I would say, on, on this feature. And when we launched it, when we did it, we didn't need for, for, that, pur for that purpose, but we learned about it. So having adding features might not be uh, for having a better retention, having uh, 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 more people using, using your app, but maybe it's gonna be, have a, so something else uh, uh, that is gonna be improved. Uh, I mentioned before that we did a redesign of our app, and um, so it's pretty interesting about when you should redesign your app, because again, when you are redesigning your app, you don't add any feature, you are just improving the experience. So. First, it was a pretty easy choice because our former <laughs> Android app was pretty bad. Uh, it was not a copy of our iOS app, but eh, not that far. It was like pretty bad. So, you know, when our materials design was, uh, was announced uh, by, by, by Google and we had all these guidelines, we're like, okay, this, is, this, is, this might be the right time for us to, you know, spend a bit of time on design and, and, and do something good with our app. And we did a project that I think uh, it lasted something around six months. So it's, it was not six months working only on, the, uh, 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 on that, but it's re pretty hard in the company to say, we stop working on anything now, we only do redesign. It never works like that. So all in all, uh, including other projects, it, 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 it took six months. And we used also this opportunity to improve many things in terms of usability in the app, uh, in terms of how the app was uh, uh, responding to users uh, on any actions. And this time we were like, okay, this is going to have an impact because uh, you know, when you try an app and it's a piece of crap, or when you try an app and it's beautiful, uh, it should have a difference. And uh, the difference, uh, I think I've showed you this slide already, but uh, this, this had absolutely no impacts on, on, on retention because people, I mean, the value they found in the other app, they, they found it here. And, uh, I remember a pretty funny discussion I had uh, <laughs> with, with my CEO saying, hey, so you know that, 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 that project that we did that, that lasted six months, uh, what is the impact? Uh, well, you know, we've got a better app. We are proud of it. We are happy of it. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it, it was, Disappointing, but at the, at, the, at the same time, we are really happy about, uh, about uh, doing it. So uh, one thing for sure is that redesigning your app might not be the, 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 the best way to, to improve your metrics. Now again, on the bright side, when we did that, we were featured uh, for four weeks and we got 3x the number of uh, 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 people that were coming to the place. So now we are really on the top of funnel. And uh, we worked with, uh, uh, with, with, with the Android team while we designed this app and letting them know that we were doing all these projects and uh, they were pretty cool with us, uh, giving us feedback uh, about what we were doing and at the end, when we have integrating all the feedbacks, we, we uh, have been aware of the editor choice with that app. And as you can imagine, that makes also a difference because uh, you also get uh, the same kind of uh, uh, 3x uh, people that are coming to your app. Plus you get a sticker uh, on your download page, so it's also improving uh, the, the, the download rate. So everything is connected. And I mean, if you think about it, and if you think about uh, everything now that is here, uh, this is my funnel right at the beginning. Now, if I don't get uh, uh, 1,000 uh, at the beginning, but I get 3,000, well, it's, uh, it really makes a difference at the end of the day. And if I include the rest, uh, so if I include this, uh, and if I include the, the improvement here, then I get uh, to something that is uh, 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 six, six times a bit better. And I mean, six times better is making a huge difference in terms of retention. And as I showed you, these are not things that are impossible to do. These are not things that are totally uh, 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 game-changing. It's the same app, 
but we have improved things one by one. And this is why when you are, uh, when you are doing an app and when you have uh, uh, a couple of people uh, playing with it, you should really ask yourself, okay, what can I improve? How can I improve the metrics in that app? How can I improve the number of people that get there? How can I improve the number of people that start using the app? And how can I improve the number of people uh, uh, keeping on using the app after five minutes? The five first minutes are really important on, uh, on, on mobile. People are downloading a ton of apps, but they just, just want to try it out. So, uh, I mean, let, let me wrap, wrap, wrap up uh, pretty quickly. Basically, try place to experiment as the first thing. The, uh, I, I mean, there's no reason not to do it. It's not taking a lot of time, and it can have a big result uh, uh, in terms of metrics. Second, run candid tests. Don't believe anything anyone is telling you. I mean, if you've got a marketing team they are telling you things, they're probably wrong. If you've got uh, people on the web that are expert in SEO and everything, they are probably wrong. There's no one that can know. There's only one thing that, uh, that knows is the test that you do, and then you can uh, prove that it's right or wrong. Well, I'm not saying to you to, you can, uh, you can do every, anything you want on that Play Store page. I mean, be careful about the test and don't insult uh, the visitor to see if it works better. But uh, 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 do things that make sense. And, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, the minus six percent that we had, it had absolutely no impact on our business because as, as soon as we've discovered that, we just killed that test, and that's okay. And uh, the last thing is if you do uh, changes in your app that requires uh, uh, A-B testing, if you have done all this work, try to do disruptive changes. Try to reshuffle totally the experience because this is really what has an impact. And it might take longer, that's true, but, you know, at some point you need to see wh wh what you want to invest in. And uh, what is also important is don't be stuck only on, uh, on short-term metrics because, you know, short-term metrics I is good, but maybe you've got other priorities in your company and just don't be stuck. It's really important. Metrics are really important. It's not the only thing that you need to, 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 to work on. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so... If you've got questions. Thank you. Um, I would be interested in um, how you do your A-B testing. Are you using the developer console uh, options you have there? Um, and uh, what kind of technology you do for features in your app? Yeah. So, uh, for the Play Store experiments, we, we do everything with the console, exactly. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, I didn't uh, uh, spend time to show it in that presentation because it's so easy that I, I think just going there and playing with it, you, you will see pretty easily how we, are, uh, how we can make it work. Uh, inside the app, it's a bit more complicated for us uh, because we are not doing tests that are only on Android. We are doing tests that are cross platforms. So we have uh, we have built our own A/B testing framework, so we can read results uh, not only about people that are going on Android, but also where, what is going to be uh, uh, their behavior where uh, when, when they are going uh, uh, to the desktop app. It's pretty, pretty important for us. How long do you need to Wait for the micro, please, because yeah. it's recorded. How long do you need to run a test? Um, so it's, it's a pretty good question. Actually, it depends. Um, it depends on two things. Uh, it depends on, first, the number of people that are coming to your page. If you've got one million users that are going to your, your, your page, it's pretty quick. And the second thing is the amount of difference of your two tests. If you've got one test that is great and the other one that sucks, well, you're gonna have, uh, 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 you can read the result pretty easily. Now, if you've got a small difference between one and the other, if you want uh, 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 the, the metrics to be readable, you need to wait uh, uh, a lot more time. Now, the good thing also about uh, the, the, the Play Store experiment is that Google helps you, uh, helps you with that. You, you, don't have to, uh, you don't have to decide by yourself. They tell you when you can be confident uh, with, with, the, with the data. So it's pretty cool.